maps just posted the next bonus week, but also there is a little surprise. Stick around until the end of the video. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So the next bonus week will be an episode spotlight Justice League Dark, uh, which makes some sort of sense with the upcoming uh, Shazam movie coming up. Uh, so we do have the next uh, Shazam movie, Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods. Uh, I wonder, will you guys go and see that movie? I have to admit, I really enjoyed the first one. It didn't do all that well, so I was a bit surprised when they decided to make a second one. Uh, personally, I really enjoyed the first one, even though they were trying a little too hard sometimes to try to be funny. But other than that, uh, I had a good time with that film. So I'm curious to see the second movie. Although already a lot of YouTubers are predicting uh, doom and gloom, uh, they're, predicting, they're predicting it's going to be failure in a box office flop. Although early projection seems to project, I think it was 85 million last time I checked. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. So this week from Thursday, March 16th, 2023, all the way through Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023, all players will enjoy double source marks when completing instanced or mission content and Justice League Dark uh, content. And you will also get a 50% discount on the Justice League Dark gear at the vendor. It is only the gear that is 50% off. Very often some of you guys will go to the vendor, you'll see that the accessories or the auras or that kind of stuff are not 50% off. It is only the gear, nothing else. Also, I have to warn you, you have to wait until Thursday morning after the daily server restarts. Very often some of you guys will log in very, very early and then you'll send me messages, Multiverse, I don't have the bonus week. Why is that? You have to wait until Thursday morning after the daily server restart. And last but not least, I can already hear some of you guys say, I, I don't need the Justice League, Justice League Dark DLC. It's pointless. Uh, it's a pointless bonus week. Yes, I understand. If you did, if you have everything from the Justice League Dark DLC, yeah, it's not that much of a bonus week. Although you still get bonus uh, double source marks. So you still need source marks to purchase uh, catalysts to be able to upgrade your artifacts. You still need source marks to purchase alliances to, to upgrade your, your allies. So you still need uh, a lot, a lot of source marks. So getting double source marks that should be useful for everyone. Also, you have to remember that not everyone completed the Justice League Dark DLC. There are people that still need to defeat the Big Shadow Golem. So if you still need to defeat the Shadow Golem or the Shog Monster, uh, this week will be a good opportunity to be able to do that. Odds are there are at least a few groups that will be fighting those bounties. So if you still need those bounties from Justice League Dark, uh, this week will be a good time to try to do those. And if we take a quick look at the current and upcoming events and content, so we still have the Neo Technomancer Time Capsule, but there will be something else in just a second that I'll mention. Uh, and for the Mr. Mixes Spittle Lake event, the event will last until March 22nd. So basically we have one more week to be able to enjoy the event. Yeah, the, the Mr. Mixes Spittle Lake event is a short event. So enjoy it while it is there. And here we have uh, the episode spotlight, which, which we just uh, talked about. And then it seems that tomorrow, March 16, 2023, we will get a new booster bundle. Very often some of you guys will ask when or when will we get a new booster bundle. Tomorrow will be the day of days. Uh, normally those booster bundles last for about a month. So you should expect the booster bundle to be there at least for one month. Sometimes it lasts a bit longer than that. But at the very least, you should uh, the booster bundle should be available at least for one month. If it's available longer than that, even better. But at the very least, you will have one month to be able to get everything you need from that booster bundle. Uh, tomorrow, once we do get the booster bundle, I'll try to make a video about it. And last but not least, episode 45, Shock to the System. Uh, sadly, at this point in time, all we know is that we will get it Spring 2023. Uh, sadly, it has not been added to the test server just yet. So once it gets added to the, te to the test server, we can expect it on the live server 2-3 weeks after that. It takes at the very least 2 weeks to test uh, items on the test server. Uh, sometimes though, it does take a bit longer than that. So once we do get it on the test server, we will have then to wait at the very least 2 weeks before we get it on the live server. And seeing how we don't have it on the test server just yet, uh, sadly at the earliest I would, I would say do not expect the uh, episode 45 before the first week of April. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see.